Oh, I love it. He's on the right track. If you want to open up a coffee shop, you have to watch this video because I'm going to be reviewing and analyzing this Fort Worth man that opened up his coffee shop on a mobile tricycle. So make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. If you guys enjoy these review videos, these analytical videos, these videos where I react to what I'm watching, then make sure you guys smash the like button because that just shows me to create more of these videos for you. Now, let's dive right in. It's a tricycle, a bar, and a coffee machine all in one. And when you see it rolling down the street, feel free hey, Brandon. to say hello to Stuart Reed. He's also known as... Well, they call me the Pedalista Barista. And he's quickly becoming a favorite around Fort Worth. You know, it's all about the experience. The 28... Oh, I love it. He's on the right track because he understands when you are buying food, when you are buying drinks, when you're buying anything, it is all about the experience. If you want to have a brand, if you're trying to build a brand for yourself, you have to be able to deliver an experience because if you do not, then you are a commodity. Commodity has no price premium. You cannot charge more for it because you know what? People will just go to any Starbucks. They would just go to Tim Hortons. They would go to anywhere else to buy a coffee. That is a commodity. Whereas if you are a brand, now you have customer loyalty. That means people will come to you because they like you. They want to support you, support your mission. Second, you can charge a premium on your goods. You can charge much more than the regular cup of coffee at Starbucks. That's the difference between a brand versus a commodity item. And this guy knows what he's talking about. Gerald says he had the idea to start a coffee business on wheels after graduating college. I didn't get an interview or anything, just nothing in my field with my degree. So he got to thinking and decided to combine his love for cycling and Java. Now he's got the only tricycle in the state and only one of a few in the world that doubles as a coffee bar. Every push of the pedal grinds the beans. Completely mobile and sustainable. I'm also grinding beans. I'm pumping water at the same time. I've got a, a lever machine right here. It's all 100% mechanical, no electricity. By now, you're probably... Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 how, how? How did this guy even make this machine? It's so cool. It's definitely an experience worth watching. I don't know how great of a business model this is, to be frank with you, because you know what? I wouldn't want to be riding 24 hours a day. Like it, it's not a good business model. However, as a hype, as a gimmick, as something just to get an attention might be worthwhile. So I think it, it, this is something that I would recommend that if you already have a location, you would want to send someone out with a bike like this just to draw people to come into your restaurant, just to create noise, just so then that way you get covered on the news. And now people would be driving over to your physical location, your own brand, to actually try it out, see it. It could be just something that is right outside your store. So then that way, it just gets people to come in and check it out. But definitely not something I want to keep doing every single day. Wondering just how good is that cup of joe? Let's find out. Let's give it a shot. Salute. Mm. That's good stuff. Mm. And I'm not the only one that thinks it. Very good. Highly recommend it. The brew gets the stamp of approval, and clearly the rig is something to look at. But the pedalista barista says this odd business of his is much more than just a gimmick, and it's got a real message behind it. I'm really curious to see how is this going to be more than a gimmick. So I'm, I'm excited. Let's see, let's see if you have a message worth sharing. Fort Worth that sustainable business can be fun, functional, and financially viable. Fun, functional, and financially viable. Fun for sure. That's really fun. Sustainable. I don't know. I don't know how sustainable this is. And I really don't know how financially viable this option is either. Um, yeah, I, you know what? I applaud him. I applaud him for trying. I applaud him for having and being willing to actually take action on something he believes in. This is something that not a lot of people can do, guys. 
Believe it or not, before we start laughing at him, and by the way, I'm not laughing at him, I'm just saying that as a business model, it's probably not the one that I would choose, not the one that I would recommend, and I don't agree with what he says. However, I definitely admire his passion. His passion into doing something that he enjoys, something that he believes in, because guys, 99% of the people out there, they never take action, even if it's something that they believe in. These guys, they sleep, sleep on the couch, they're watching Netflix, they're just, you know what, pointing keyboard warriors. They never really are on the field playing, risking everything that they have. No, they don't do that. This guy is the 1% that's willing to put his money where his mouth is. So definitely something that I admire, but guys, definitely not a business model that you would want to model after. You know, Stuart Reed tells me his current permit only allows him to stick to certain parts of Fort Worth. Right now, he's limited to Magnolia Avenue and the trailhead over at Clear Fork, but he hopes to add downtown Fort Worth to his route soon. Coffee's good, but unfortunately, this guy does not cut it to the real deal list. So there you go, friends. Something for us to learn from is the fact that gimmick gimmick does not sell. It is not a viable business solution out there. Gimmick draws in the crowd. We need to understand the fundamentals of business. We need to understand gimmick draws outside people. You need something of substance, something of uh, a viable business model that allows you to convert the traffic that you bring into long-term customers. That's what you need to do. But something that I do want to applaud this gentleman is first of all, his idea and his philosophy on experience. Like I was sharing with you, a brand is worth much more than a commodity. You can charge higher prices and there's brand loyalty. And the second thing that I admire about him so much is the fact that he is an action taker. We do not laugh at action takers and we are inspired by action takers. So it's something that I admired about him, something that we can learn from him, something that we shouldn't do, and that's the reaction video for you. I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. If you guys want more of this, make sure you guys smash the like button to see me review and analyze whether the next guy is the real deal or not. I'll see you guys in the next video.